chances are, if you aren't a conservative Presbyterian, you don't know much about J. Gresham Machen, but you really should. He was one of the most important theologians and defenders of the faith of the 20th century. Caspar Wister Hodge, the grandson of the great Charles Hodge and an able theologian in his own right, called Machen the greatest theologian in the English-speaking world and the greatest leader of evangelical Christianity. But the praise that Machen received from one of the most prominent atheists of his day is even more noteworthy. H.L. Mencken generally had nothing but scorn for evangelical Christians, calling their leaders clowns and deriding one of the most prominent as having the theological ideas of a somewhat backward child of eight years old. So what did such an acerbic opponent of Christianity have to say about J. Gresham Machen? He said that Machen was a man of great learning and dignity and went on. I think that, given his faith, his position is completely impregnable. There is absolutely no flaw in the arguments with which he supports it. If he is wrong, then the science of logic is a hollow vanity signifying nothing. High praise indeed. If you're still not intrigued, here are a few more tidbits about Machen. As a young man, his faith was sharply challenged, particularly while studying in Germany under some of the most prominent liberal theologians of the day. It took years for his conviction of the truth of, Christ of historic Christianity to be fully established again. But once it was, he went on to become one of the leading figures in the fundamentalist modernist controversy, defending the historic doctrines of the church against the modernists or liberals who rejected the authority of scripture and the supernatural. Machen is perhaps best known for having written the book entitled Christianity and Liberalism, in which he argues that theological liberalism is not Christianity at all. It's considered one of the great defenses of historic Christianity. In fact, World Magazine called the book one of the top 100 books of the millennium. At the same time, Machen was no standard fundamentalist. For example, he opposed prohibition of alcohol, and while he supported Christian education, he opposed prayer and Bible reading in public schools. He Finally, he suffered great personal loss uh, for his refusal to back down from the fight over Christian doctrine. He was forced out of his seminary professorship and excommunicated from the Presbyterian Church. And while he had plenty of other op uh, offers uh, for more comfortable positions in other parts of the country, uh, he set out to found a new seminary and a new denomination to provide a home for those resisting the rapid liberal shift of the mainline Presbyterian Church. There's a lot more that we could say, but to keep this introduction short, I'll leave it at that. In future videos, I'll provide more in-depth looks at the life and works of J. Gresham Machen, in English on this channel and in Spanish on my Spanish language channel. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss them. Thanks for watching.